the ball, fresh from the ball, my back to the wall with my hands on my back. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Urban Gear Man, and I'm back with another video. And today, I got a question for you guys. Also, I have a little, like, educational video. It's not really educational, just information that Fox News shared, and it, you guys want to hear it. But this video is about, do you, do you set the time on your watch? This watch right here. See this Harlem Bling watch right here? I mean, this is the Harlem Bling one. Do you set the time on it? I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't. This is all for style and fashion. When I wanna check the time, I use my cell phone. Well, a study has come out showing that kids in the digital age do not know how to read analog clocks. This is a growing problem. Um, they don't know what the short hand and the long hand is on these watches. So will these watches go out of style in the future of if kids don't even know how to read the time? I don't think so because I wear them for fashion or whatnot. But let, check out this clip and I'm going to do some commentary and I think you guys will enjoy this one. And Comment down below what you think and like and subscribe by the way. All right, y'all, this is the clip if I want to show you and check it out and have some fun with me today. Let's go. A lot of young children can't tell time. Yes, a recent survey found that 80% of 6 through 12-year-olds in Oklahoma can't read an analog clock. Yo, they're getting at Oklahoma, but this is worldwide. Don't get it twisted. Sorry, Oklahoma. Fox News is getting at you today. I don't know why, but... A volunteer at a local boys and girls club wants to fix that. She's hosting an after-school program to teach the mysteries of the big hand and the little hand. Everyone's so used to seeing digital, she says. They all have cell phones and tablets, so they don't have to look at a clock very often that's analog. That is true. And me as a grown man, I look at my cell phone to check the time. I don't even look at my watch. And here's something that may or may not help kids tell time. It's called the Albert Clock. You have to do a math problem to figure out the time. It what? Who's doing a math problem to figure out the time? What is this? It's meant for children and adults. And the difficulty level can be adjusted to six different levels. So now you have one catch-all excuse for being late. I suck at math. Pretty good, right? Matt Welch. What do you think? First of all, what do you think of the Albert clock? Do you see? They, it's, a, it's a problem. I you got to figure that. out the time every time you look at it. That's terrible. That's a nightmare. What? There's, Wait. there's, there's a step in between. Facts. Facts. Between knowledge. I don't want any part of that. Don't you? Like, you seem like a puzzle type of guy. Like, you like to figure out, oh, dude, I was the guy who made, like, the 25-digit long division. Bro, I just want to see the time. I don't want to do a math problem. Like, come on. Look, what are these people doing? Problems for fun at school in between assignments because that was a way to spend time on your desk. <laughs> yeah. So, no, yeah, I'm you that guy. You should like the Albert Yeah, Clark. but that's, that's someone else <clears throat> uh -huh. getting in between me and that. Watch this to the end. There's actually more information after they talk. I get it. Well, your watch. You have an analog watch, right? Well, the thing is, all you people do, and what, I, what this is telling me, since you're all fancier and, and, uh, than I am, is that... Analog watches are a signaling device to show that you're from the older aristocratic America, yes. that you are the striver. That's not true. Do you hear what he just said? He's saying that these watches or whatever, or he's saying from your from an older time. Nah, we wear it for fashion, to be honest. But I, I hear what he's trying to say, but honestly, I wear this for fashion. I might not look at it for time. But I don't think it singles that. You're from the older aristocratic America, yes. that you are the striver. You have gone through trade school, yes. Kristen, and you come out on the other end, so you'll wear this really fancy. You all have beautiful watches. Well, you don't, but everyone else has <laughs> really beautiful I'm watches. I'm a working so, man. Yeah, yeah exactly. But they're good. I mean, look, you've got to watch on. Yeah. Did you, you didn't have to learn how to tell. The man disrespected the man's watch. Did you see his face after the man made that? Remark is because he's on TV. They didn't want to do did that. You, you didn't have to learn how to tell time on an analog clock, but you did, right? Yeah, I did. And you know, when I first read the story, I was horrified by it. But then I kind of thought about it, and I was like, so what? You know, analog <laughs> clocks are not going to exist in 20 years from now. I can't tell time using a sundial. Is that a problem? Probably not. So right. I don't... Nah, 
the importance of knowing this is because, yes, we live in a technology era, but anything could happen. There could be a, a solar blackout, um, a sol uh, an electrical apocalypse. Like, I know the sun emits its um, um, rays or whatnot, and we could potentially have a, a solar um, a blackout. It will click kill all electricity. I forgot what it's called. But if the sun, not a solar eclipse, well, the, I forgot what it's called, a solar storm or whatnot. The sun has this thing where it could potentially knock out all power on Earth or whatnot. And scientists saying it could happen. So you're going to have to learn how to tell time with a sundial. You don't want this information to get lost in time. You know what I mean? I don't think this is a big deal. It's all going to be technology driven. And if that did happen, watches like this Harlem Bling skeleton watch that could last forever. It's a skeleton back watch, so you doesn't use batteries. All you got to do is wear it and, re and it'll last forever. Without Watches like this will be very important. So they're not obsolete. I'm soon anyway. Wow. Uh, unexpected answer. Paul, what do you think? Should kids <laughs> I don't know how to tell time? Well, my kids should, but everybody else's doesn't matter, right? Because <laughs> these kids are building apps for the iWatch, and, and who cares what time it is on an analog clock? That's right, who cares? But that's the thing. I mean, maybe if they knew how to tell time, they wouldn't be building fake digital bombs. In <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that kid with the clock. Remember? Yeah. Remember to set your bomb forward. <laughs> I mean, clock forward. Yes, yes. <laughs> this terrifies me. And first of all, whoever made up the math clock, yeah, that dude needs to be stopped. Yeah, I mean he needs to be. Punched I about. like that. No, because we're, we're, we're like when you get your first job and you don't want to be late, so you set your clock like ten minutes early. You know, it's like oh that'll give me that I'll trick myself into yeah. you know thinking I'm late, but I'm not. I hate doing math with you know when I'm looking at a clock. Facts. Clock. That's just horrible and mean. I'm thinking of getting the hour clock because you know it'd be good for my kids to learn math and learn how to tell time and learn how to hate their yeah. father. Exactly. <laughs> 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 and in defense, maybe yeah, the kids go. in Oklahoma have some kind of Zen state where they've transcended time. I think they have. 2018, oh, 2019. Oh, crap. That was the period of. Well, guys, that was that video. Like Let's and subscribe. I thought it very educational, but please like. I'm trying to build this channel and grow. And I'm signing out. Check out the store early.